Okay. So what I did was, uh, since I have access, okay, so somebody might have to guide me through this. So I want to share my screen. You see all that foolishness now? Yeah. 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 Okay. So what's that do? Okay. So what I had the opportunity to uh, to look at the two game films. Uh, they use a program called Quick Cuts. It's through the Moncton, uh, the Mustangs platform or whatever. Uh, most all the games will be uploaded there. Uh, the problem is uh, the games that I've watched, and I have some suggestions that I'm sending to the teams. Uh, is as soon as the play goes dead, they kill the video. So um, I've asked a couple of them already to extend the time frame so that it goes beyond when the whistle goes, and so we can see what's happening. So the first video group is from the. Uh, the game between Halifax, the new Halifax team, and uh, and the St. John Wanderers. There's going to be a few, a number of uh, these clips that deal with the uh, kick plays. And, uh, probably because we haven't been involved in kicking for such a long time that uh, that's why we're seeing some issues. And they're not bad issues. So the, the kick is – the this is the inside or the narrow side of the field. So our outside deep guy is going to be on this sideline. The inside deep guy is going to be in here somewhere. So the question I have is, who has the ball on this play? Okay, so who has the ball? I think I picked that up because it was right at that hash mark. Yeah, so it's it's out to your hash mark, and you're correct. Who, by mechanics, has the ball? Should be Andrew. Okay. Now, the, the uh, guidelines for six says that uh, if the ball is from here, this sideline to the side, sorry, this hash mark to the sideline, the outside deep guy has it and the inside deep guy has from his sideline all the way to th this hash mark. So this one is close enough that, Matt, I think you're correct in taking it, but the point is to look at where our deep guy is, our other deep guy, stop, our other deep guy was. And you know this will show up a little bit more uh, as we go through, just uh, our positioning on kick plays. All right, so the next one is. So the play is going to occur right in around this area. Okay. Uh, and it's, is this okay? And if it, then the question is who has it? So at the 50 yard line, right there. Okay, so who has that play? I go back too far. Yes, shit. Watch the receiver on the, when the when he comes out. Shit. Come on, jump up. Watch this guy right here. Is this legal or not? Thoughts? Is that legal coverage by the by the defense? Did the defense do anything wrong? Can you back that up just a little bit? Yeah. And the uh, speed, fast speed. So did the defensive player do anything wrong? I say no. It looks like a push-off by the receiver. By the receiver. So the action by this guy is a shove to push him off, off kilter. Would have been contact. So the question is, who has this receiver? Line of scrimmage guy. 
Okay, the line of scrimmage guy would have the second receiver in. So that would be this guy's coverage. Mm -hmm. Okay, just so we're aware as, as that play develops. So again, the action by the receiver right now is okay, and then he pushed them off to cause them to go off stride. Then we, we run like fools. Okay. So those of you who are aspiring referees, is there anything wrong with this play? Intentional ground. Okay. I would agree full heartedly with you. Uh, the referee in the game said to his sideline guy that this player right here was in the zone. Well, when you watch it on video, he's not in the zone. So it should have been intentional grounding. So in that case, where's the next line of scrimmage going to be? Where the ball is thrown from. Where it's thrown from, yeah. Okay, uh, in Ray's uh, notes that he sent out, he talked about officials moving and so on. Uh, so my comment just simply and uh, going forward is, as the play goes, if you watch, there are two officials who are moving to the play as it starts to come to an end. So we have the two side guys moving to the play as it comes to an end. And this is the reason why I wish they would allow it to go longer. So this guy's moving to it. This guy's coming to it. The four of us, now we've got some motion here, but the four of us should be all over here somewhere. Okay, especially in this league uh, where all the bodies are here and we have half of our crew out here, uh, just as, as we go forward. I hate this program. So this is just one where our deep guy gets caught. Not necessarily caught, he's still in pretty good position. But he's responsible for, these two deep guys are responsible for the goal line. So the idea is move to the goal line first. And then you can come forward and officiate the play or allow the play to come to you. Okay. Oh, shoot. Is so, this video from that drone? Sorry? Yes. I, I tell you, when I got to about play 75, the first time I said I was almost nauseous watching it. But yeah, this is all from the drone. So in this play, I, I think this is Andrew, I think. If he would have been here or closer to the goal line, uh, it's easier then to step up, kill the play when it goes dead. But it's also, also easier to officiate this important line if that guy breaks through. So just keep that in mind, which line we have the most responsibility for. As I said, some of these are tough kick coverages. This is going to be one that with a six official crew, we have a punt. This isn't the play, I jumped it. Okay, so this is the punt. Where'd it go? It's not going to be there. Shit, okay, so it cut on me. So what ends up happening on the, uh, skip it. It's not even there unless it shows up later. So there's going to be a tackle that occurs right over in this area. And it's really difficult to see, but the question is, does it look legal? So 
story from thinking the wrong play. It's going to happen right there. That looked like a legal tackle. No. Why not? Looks like he takes him out right at the ankles and kind of like almost like a hip check. Watch even closer. Looks like he's tripping them. It's a trip play. Yeah. Uh, it, again, it's 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 a, one you don't see very often, but it's something we should be aware of. I'm coming up here. I might have been able to get a good look at it. I don't know if is, is that you, Matt. You might have had a good look at it. It's just something to be aware of that sometimes uh, we have those bad things happen. Uh, I don't know what the kicking was like in Mon the Moncton game. Uh, ours wasn't top notch. So the blue team's punting here. Okay. And Matt killed the play coming in. We've already got coverage guys that have gone beyond. You got guys here. So rather than penalizing the team, uh, that was a good kill play. Keep that in mind, especially with this league. I don't know if we'd necessarily get away with it at a U.S. level, but with this league, it's a good, uh, good call. I'll let you watch this, and then I'll talk. Any questions on the play? So we've got one, two, uh, I can't find Pats right now. Maybe that's it right there. We have three flags on this block right here. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't go back for enough. So as the play starts to come back, I believe it's this player right here. No, I'm lying to you. This guy right here. Okay, we have a good blindside block call. The question is, should all three of us have that penalty? An answer of yes or no is fine. No. <laughs> no? No. Why not? I think it's in everybody's field of view. That's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's kind of just right at that spot where everything's happening. Yeah. The, yeah, and the guy's going laterally across the field, so it's, he's coming into other guys' zone. Yeah. So all answers are correct. The only one, Pat, is Pat uh, Mullins here? The, Pat's, and I when I say this, I, I don't. I'm not trying to be critical because everything you said, everything's moving to here. This is where all the threat is. Nothing's really happening here, and it should be covered by these two guys coming up behind. There's nothing out here. So everything's right there. My only question is, does Pat have as good a look at it as mm -hmm. maybe the others do, based on where bodies are? Where is he? Boom, right there, right, right there. there. So yeah. here's the contact. So my own, and again, this is where the threat is. I think mean, it's a good call. There's no question. Uh, and as, as you have said, that this is one of those situations where the ball's coming cross field. Everybody's moving towards the ball. Um, I, don't, I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to the, to the question, but it was just uh, for us to take a look at. 
Uh, okay, this is the one. So we all got it. There's no question. I'm upset that the two sideline guys didn't throw a flag too. <laughs> they weren't looking. Okay, so on this play, the tackle is going to be out here. This one I talked about earlier. And it's the very last part of it. And it's a little bit hard to see. And it's going to come up in the next group of videos too. Uh, so is this look like a legal tackle? I'm sorry, it's over here. And it's going to be the last tackler coming in on the play. Okay. I believe it's this guy right here. Watch how he sets up to make the hit. No, it's the next guy coming in right there. Back up. It's this player. Does this look like a legal hit? Or what I can't really. I can't leading really tell. Play? Yeah, it's hard. It looks to see. like a head leading. Yeah, I he, he does drop the head, yeah. and he look, sort of launches at the ball carrier. Yeah. yeah, I was the nearest guy to the play. And he actually went over top of the guy. This angle makes it look like he hit him. Uh, but he sure set up to make it an illegal tackle uh, because he did. He dropped his head, was going after the guy with his head. In the next uh, game, there's a video clip that even shows a better example of it. Okay, next play is a, a penalty that occurs. We call it the blindside block. Do we really need to call it? Um, this better be the play. Oh, yeah, it's coming out here. So watch the guy in the red helmet. Oh, oh. So we had a flag on it for a blindside block. Who does it? And watching on video, it looks like the guy that falls down really didn't even get hit. And my question was around the fact that the ball goes dead right here. Is it a play where we needed a flag, where it was not a I'm going to kill you type of blindside block? Well, it looks like he was heading actually for his own player. That's like who it looks like he hits. Yeah. But whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. Coach didn't like it. That's not his intention to hit his own player. No, not at all. But, but one of the things is we can't call fouls based on intent, except for an objectionable conduct where I throw a punch and miss. But on this play, where it's not a – forcible hit on the kid in the red helmet mm -hmm. could we have gotten away with having nothing and again it's an arbitrary question arbitrary question looking at a video clip i mean technically like yeah like if he didn't hit him then we don't really have a blindside block because like you said you can't penalize a player because of his intent yeah it's and it's just again as i say it's just one of those when you look at it on video it uh, it looks less uh, of a blindside block than it did in the game. And Pat's right here, and he has a call. But again, it's everything leads up to making it look like it's going to be a blindside. Uh, next one is a kick play, second last one from this game. So uh, one, of the, one of the points that I, I made is 
inside deep, hold it now, inside deep comes off and by the mechanics, by the diagram, the inside deep official should be in line with the receiver. Okay, so Andrew in this case should be up here more uh, so that he has a line across and he may even want to step up further because of this guy. The outside deep guy should be about five, six yards in, in advance of the return. And this is this is my suggestion. This is not in the mechanics where you have two returners this far apart, but there's no reason you can't go in here. And as they move up in here, line up in line with them. As these guys move up, you move up with them. If they go back, you go back with them. But the outside guy up in front gives him the third <coughs> line to pick up blocking as it's coming down. By being in line with these guys, it gives you the opportunity to make a good judgment on no yards. So just initial positioning uh, for deep. And we, we had terrible kicking. Okay, so by being, so Matt has up in this area, so he's able to pick up the first wave of blocking in front of the ball carrier. If Andrew would have been up in line with him, he would have been, had a good position to see if there was a no yards in that play or not. Anyhow, we had no worries because the ball went dead way the hell up here. Uh, second last one. Deals with contact on the quarterback. So I'm not sure if you get a good look at that. I, I'm not going to be able to stop this where I want to. Can anybody guess what the foul was other than the officials that were in the game and know what was called? And I'm not sure if you can see the very top part of it or not. I'm hoping you can. So this is a quarterback. And this is the line of scrimmage. I think that I have that right. He's releasing the ball, trying to release the ball before he crosses the line of scrimmage. We called uh, an illegal forward pass because of being over the line of scrimmage. I think we should not have uh, because he was so close to the line. There he is. He was so close to the line, he actually had part of his body still behind the, the line of scrimmage. Um, so rule of thumb, if it's real, real close, it's not a foul. Would that be fair to say, Jack Anderson? That's it. Yeah. If he steps on the, you using the same uh, standards I, as we? I I would say we should in, in a case like this, yes. Mm -hmm. We're so close. Standards that we use at, at the AUS, if he steps on the line as he's throwing the ball, he's okay. Yeah. So you're... Summary of if he's that close, we let it go. Yeah, I think uh, covers it. Yeah, and with two of if he has, I'm sorry, go ahead. If he has any part of his body on the line, he's good. If, I, I, if, yeah, yes. Yeah. So if he, most of his body is over, but he's got a foot on the line. He's still good. I I would say we still rule him as good if it's that close, because we're in a trail position. It's very difficult to make a decision on exactly where it was. Now, the standards for six aside as to who calls that is the line of scrimmage official, and Sean called it. Uh, but I think when I watch it here on video, I think based on how close he is, that if we don't call it, we're good in not calling it. I, don't, I, I think it's not blatant enough to call. How's that sound, Bob? Agreed. So it has to be, it has to be obviously across the line. Yeah, it's 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 got to be. Yes, I, I'm not going to try and explain it any more than that. But yes, mm -hmm. this is so close. Like wh where exactly was the ball when he hit that line? Where was where was his back foot and things like that? So, 
anyhow, and then the last one was last play from this one, and it's very similar to uh, one that I mentioned earlier. Is as you watch the play come to an end, and this is late in the game. Uh, in a game that wasn't really chippy, but had potential at any time. Okay, other than Pat moving to protect themselves. Okay, please note, we casually walk into the play when 20 players are all in the same area. And at this level, uh, we can't do that because that's when bad things are going to happen. So we should be moving quickly to the file, just like Ray alluded to in his note. Any questions on any of those? So when I called them for the illegal forward pass, yeah. I wasn't wrong, but I wasn't right either. I could. Yes, yeah, yeah exactly. He was so close. Okay. If he was so close that, and you kept your flag in your pocket, nobody would have said a thing. Uh, right. This would have been another step. I think if you throw your flag, then nobody says anything. But I I didn't realize how close he was until I watched it on video. And you, those guys over on this side are the ones that have the better angle on that. Like, I mean, the coaches and players than we actually do coming up. Yeah. Okay. So that's that group. Any questions on that group other than what Sean just asked? Okay, so this tribe. So my question on this one is, what's the foul on this play? Let me slow it down. It's like offside. Definitely outside. Okay, so what do we have? Somebody say <clears throat> offside. Offside, and the guy on this the lower right side. Yeah. Okay, this that guy guy's... right here. Those of you who have the, who will be working Moncton, they do a lot of this motion with their their slot backs. Like he's well off the line, and he will do those little step backs and whatnot. And whether it's meant to draw these guys, which I'm pretty certain it is. Uh, uh, just don't get caught in it. So my question, the second spinoff question was, should we have killed this? No. No, because he didn't go through it. He didn't go through the dead zone. Okay. Okay, we're all okay. Jump. So you're right. Nobody went through the neutral zone. Nobody made contact prior to the ball being snapped. So the offense is doing that in order to draw the defense on the side. But yeah. That's fine because he's not on the line. Exactly. Watch the route this guy has. And this, this is the only reason why I asked should it have been killed. Now he's not he's not a real strong defensive end coming through, so it wasn't as big a deal. But by rule, the answer you all gave was correct. That is not a kill play. Uh, next play, you need to watch the two line of scrimmage officials. I know the far one's harder to see than the one on this side. Okay, so I, I don't think you can see, well, you might be able. So I think this is Zane. Arm up. Paul had his arm up. So we have a good, easy screen pass 
to, to indicate. The one thing with the screen pass is the moving official who is Zane on this side, because the pass is completed behind the line of scrimmage, he's, he's not going far. But if it's a normal pass play and it's not completed, he probably has broken down field. So we need to rely on this official, the hold official, for that signal. Okay, in our, in our game, the, uh, the Wanderers game, we had a couple of screen passes that we had well covered. We had one that we weren't sure and had to ask where the pass was completed. So if you're the hold, you've got to be the one that's on the ball about whether that is a screen pass or not. In this case, it worked out really well where both guys were still very close to the line of scrimmage. So good coverage. Uh, all right. I asked you to watch one in the last game. And this upcoming play. Come on, jump. <clears throat> Okay, everybody set up well. Okay, we got the signals. People are going where they should. Watch the tackle. Mm. Sure. Yeah, and he led with his head. Okay, so the question is, I, I don't think we have a target. I'm not going to go down that avenue. We don't have 25. I do think we should have had a UR for one of two things, either head leading tackle, because he does drop to lead with his head, or the fact that the player was out of bounds when the tackle was made. So the question was, is there concern about the tackle? This is very similar to the one from the other game where the guy came through and dropped his Dropped his head. Now, in the other game, he missed. In this one, he doesn't. Just be aware, we're early in the season. Uh, I think this is a really good one. I think this one coming up. So what was called on that one? Uh, there was no call on the play, to my knowledge. Okay. No, uh, there wasn't. No, there wasn't? Okay. Yeah, so Andrew would have been the deep on this side. So there was no call on that play. Like he didn't even try to avoid him. He just... No, he dropped and went. Um, watch around the 32 yard line. So it's right in this, where's my, somewhere in this area. There it was. Okay. Okay. So this is the block we're looking at. Is this a legal block? This big guy coming across. Oh, oh. Okay, is that legal or not? Uh, blind side, because he would he was going back. Yeah. Okay, so he's coming wherever he went. Okay, it's this guy right here. I got to back it up just a touch. So it's this player right here, I believe, that we're going to mm -hmm. pick up on. Yeah, come on, keep playing. This guy right here. So he's moving back towards his dead ball line. Mm -hmm. oh. Hits a player forcibly. Yeah. Okay. Excellent example. Yeah, so here's my question. Which official should have been calling that? So Fowler called it. I don't know if Jim's on here or not. Uh, Jim called it. We have Andrew and we have Paul here. So if I back it up to here, if we think about coverage, so who's going to have the returner? Who's going to have Andrew. this? Guy? Okay, the Andrew. deep, deep official is going to have the returner and he's going to have him until he loses him. Who's going to have the first wave of blockers or the action in front of the return. Paul has a Paul, Paul will have that, yeah. that action that's going to end up happening in here. Who's going to have the second layer coming in? Jim. The guy who calls Jim. it. Yeah. So here's the guy. Let me take this just a bit further. OK. 
Okay, ball, first wave. Okay, now this would, would be your second group of guys coming in. Bang. Now, is Jim Fowler on? Good. So don't ever tell him. Pop on. <laughs> don't ever tell him. That's the perfect way to cover that play. That could not have been covered any better. Because he's not looking at this hit in this area. He's not supposed to be looking in this area because there's still action right in front of the ball player. And the and Fowler has that second layer coming. That's how we should cover these kicks all the time. All right. Uh, so the next one also deals with blocking. He gets a lot of distance on an underhand throw. <laughs> So this is a kick also. Who has blocking in front of the ball on this play? Who, else, who was in this game? Jason, were you in this game? No, my boys are playing, so I was a fan. Okay. Uh, did, were there deeper returners here? Does anybody know? Uh, no, no, this is the deepest guy right here. Sorry, yes, there was. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, so the question <clears throat> is that I wrote, who should have blocking in front of the ball? So we know Andrew's got the ball. Who should have this? Think of the last play. The guy on the far side? No, no, no. right here in front of yeah. it. Think of the Paul. You know, yeah, so Paul, the, okay. the sideline guy coming down is going to have that blocking. So the question now is, so we've got to figure it out. It's going to be the sideline official who should be coming down with the play. And the question is, is the block at the 40, who's the 40, right in around here, okay? Oh, right there. Sorry, at the 40. So this, this is almost like the one where in our game we call the blindside block. Watch right at the pile. This guy right here. Looks like he blocked him from behind. Yeah, I'd say it's more of a block from behind than a blindside. Yeah. So it, it's, and it, it's slightly different than the other because this guy... And I don't mean to belittle the two of them. This guy right here that's now lying on the ground, wherever he go, who's now lying on the ground. Uh, that's not the play. Oh, come on. So the guy that's lying ends up lying on the ground is not even anticipating and is not the tackler. So it's number two. So these the tackles here, this guy is just now becoming a standby. Is he anticipating being hit from behind? Most definitely not. So this is slightly different where he's not the tackler. And probably we should have a should have had a flag on this. Again, I don't know if there was, uh, because I don't see. I don't have a penalty card and I don't see anything. So just that's that can be called a blocking from behind, or you probably even could have called that a tourist kit. Uh, is there a foul on the play? By which I, don't like calling things I, I seen a flag behind. come out there at the very end. Oh, was there? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Where'd it come from? Blocking from behind. It came right here on the sideline from Andrew. Oh, Andrew had it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we, right I'm there. assuming we have it. Uh, 
is there a foul on the play by which team and how should this be covered? So that's the next play coming up. Is there a foul? How should it be covered? Uh, by which team? Actually, can you go back there again? Because I remember that play and I was thinking at the time that Andrew was calling late hit out of bound. Well, there's a possibility on that one too. Yeah, he's not going to let up, is he? Because that's what I thought Andrew yeah. was throwing the flag. Yeah, I don't I don't have the pen the penalty card or the print up here. I can't get access no, to it. No, he didn't call the late hit out of bounds. I remember the call. It was a block from behind, but I didn't see that. No. I seen the late hit. Out of here. Yeah. So we could have had two. They would have been really happy with that. Be like our four OCs in the last play of the game. Okay, so, uh, is there a foul on the play? And by which team? No, oh, shoot. A little early off that line. Yeah. Okay, so this is the foul we should be getting. Should we be getting this one? No. He's in the neutral zone. This guy's through the neutral zone, so it should be a kill, really. Kill play, we? exactly. So we should yeah. kill it. Oh, shit. Come on back up. Okay, so before, like he's yard and a half, two yards downfield. Okay, this, the play should have been killed. This is the team that has the foul. Okay, line of scrimmage guy has to pick that up. Okay. All right. And I'll tell you how well I do at that this upcoming week weekend. Uh, the next one, again, we've, I, I don't know how many kick ones I had. And again, this isn't a big deal when it comes up. Oh, I do have a question. Did Zane throw a flag out there? No, okay. Okay, so watch the kick. What's that? Guys move correctly. What's the one thing we forgot? No, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as officials, we're no, we're going to know what's happening based on where Andrew goes, and I believe it's Ian where Ian goes. Okay. These guys coming downfield don't know our mechanics. So just remembering to get the arm out to indicate that it's wide, getting in there and hugging the post as quick as you can, close as you can, and turn and look upfield to what make sure nobody runs you over. Hey, just little things the beginning of the season. Uh, hey. So just on that note, yep. Ian has ball. Ian has... Uh, Oh, someone help me here. Um, no, Andrew has ball, does he not? And Ian has goal line. Yeah, okay. Yes. So because he, Ian, Andrew's retreating to cover the no yard zone. Now, where it's coming out right here and there's nobody in the end zone. Uh, but if there were bodies, that's how it'd be picked up. Where's the ball going now? 20. At the 20, yeah. 
Okay, uh, a third last one. Watch the contact at approximately 45. Who's responsible for refereeing this zone? Okay, this guy right here. Oh, shoot, I went. Oh, I didn't. Okay. So it's a wide out at the top right here. And he's going drag all the way across. Oh, I No, I jumped back too far, didn't I? Yeah. Come on. So who has this zone of coverage right here? That would be Zane's man. If if coming across, it would still be Zane's. Uh, rule of thumb, this guy over here has to be aware of that guy coming across because of how far he's come. And he's now coming into that zone that starts to develop out here. This is one that's really tough to call because like uh, Jason said, that's Zane's man coming across. Once he gets about halfway across the field, it's really tough for him to make calls on what's happening to him. So once he gets across here, the other officials have to see what's happening in the zone here as bodies are starting to come into the zone. Uh, whether Jim will pick that up or not, it's hard to say because of coming off of blocking assignments. Was there a foul? I would say yes. Okay. Definitely early contact on early the defense. Contact. On the defense. Yeah. yeah. And again, I don't know if there was a flag thrown or not. I don't see any count. But... Late hit on the quarterback. Oh, was there one late hit on the quarterback? Oh, Ray would want to flat himself in there. On the on the charts. Um, oh, uh, this is, and I should have picked this one out early on in the game. Why am I on a kick play? Okay. Okay. So that the the next two are just out of order. Is the action by the return team legal? So it's going to be a little pooch kick out here. Is the action by the team in black legal? Because that guy's on an early, he blocks early. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So it's this player right here, is the return team allowed to block the kicking team? The answer is yes. So the action by this guy is actually legal, even though it in some people's books, might not look legal because of what he's doing. He's actually blocking for his return. He doesn't know if he has the ball or not. Now, the white team cannot come down and block these guys out of the way so that their guy can get to the ball, but the return team can. So this is actually a legal play by, uh, by the Mustangs. Okay, last play. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, God. Where does my play go? Okay. I just want to find a picture where the team in white is on offense. I guess I can use this one just easily. Uh, when, when, the Razors are lining up 
they have a uh, tackle on the right hand side who is back a fair bit. He's probably still legal by rule book, but the last clip that I wanted to have here, and I don't know where it went, the two tackles actually are off the line of scrimmage. So it's not something we want to penalize the team for, but if you see that guy back quite a bit, God, I wish I had a better image of it. Do we have any white teams on offense? Not yet. No, they're all kicks. Yeah, here we go. So when they set up, this guy is almost a step back. He's doing like the NFL uh, leveling. But early in the game, it doesn't look bad. But as the game goes on, he started to move back. And then late in the game, the guy on the other side was too. It's just something for us to keep in mind to, to advise the guy to make sure he's up closer to the line of scrimmage. Uh, and then we don't get in the problem later on of him being back too far and having to make a, a, a soft call for not having enough players on the line of scrimmage. Anyhow, that's it from me. Look at that, one less than an hour. Well, about an hour, I guess. Uh, any questions from anybody? All quiet. That's a bonus. Maybe everybody left. Everybody's watching the lease. <laughs> Winning two nothing, I think. Is that is there a score yet? Yeah, I think it's two I... nothing. For who? The Leafs? Yeah. Wow. Just one second. I I just had it up a second ago here. here. Doing better than the Jays. <laughs> It is currently two nothing for the Leafs with thirteen ten left in the first. Oh, beauty! Alrighty. Oh, well, thank you for your time. If there's anything that uh, I said that may sound askew or whatever, please shoot me off a note and I'll respond to it. Make sure everybody else hears. Uh, I'm going to stop the video now if I can get myself to figure out how to do that. How do I do that? Oh my God! I feel like Jack Anderson. <laughs> Want me to make a call to JB? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there it is. I'll move up top. So where's my record? Anybody start, see the record button up there? Stop share. Okay. Oh, there you go. Recording. 